Hey, church girls. I hope y'all missed me because I missed y'all. Like, I really missed y'all. I miss talking to y'all. Like, how are you? How has it been? I know it's been two months. It was not my intention, okay? I have to update y'all on some stuff, but before I do, I just want to say thank you. The last time I was on here, I did not have this many subs. We are almost at 850 subs, and I am just like, Lord, what are you doing? <laughs> but I'm just so grateful that you're here, that you're following the, the videos. And first of all, I'm just so happy that the little resources I've been able to give you guys have been just so helpful. Like, it makes me feel good to know that you know the content i'm putting out is just helping you in your spiritual walk and in your growth with the lord that makes me that is literally the goal that is the best thing ever um and today i wanted to go over some life updates with you guys but i also have a couple amazon pickups that i wanted to show you guys i want to call it like a little haul but it's not really a little haul but um i do have a couple things i want to show you guys um but let's get into it <laughs> Okay, first thing is first, I think we should get, you know, the most important thing out the way. Um, if you're watching this video and you have not been following me on Instagram or threads, this might come as a surprise to you, but if not, you know, you already know, but I am 12 weeks pregnant with my second child. Um, we're naming the baby so far as a nickname, Baby Squish. So a little context behind that, when I was pregnant with my son, I was obsessed with watching Finding Nemo and the little part where Dory is talking to the jellyfish and she's like, you shall be my squishy. Well, <laughs> that's where I got my son's nickname. And so the other day I was on Instagram and I had posted my little baby bump and somebody was like, oh, like look at baby squish. And I was like, that is such a perfect nickname. Like I've been trying for weeks to find a good follow up for squish. Like everybody calls my son squish that's how everybody refers to him and it's like duh baby squish just makes sense and it's so funny because squish is walking around calling the baby squish jr i'm like it's not squish jr it's baby squish um and so as of right now we still don't know the, the gender we still don't really have like you know that information but we are so excited i am so excited to be a mom again like i'm just like thinking about it i'm gonna have two little babies not two little babies because squish is eight but two kids calling me mom is crazy like wow and and i'm just so excited my son is so excited my husband is literally so happy i'm giving him all the privileges like he's picking how we're gonna do the gender reveal um he already got everybody assigned for the baby shower um he's picking the name for the baby and i'm just so excited to give him that privilege as a father you know and i'm just so happy like i'm just so happy i don't even care i just want the baby already like i found out so early i found out at six weeks and i'm just like dang i gotta go the rest of this time without having my baby in my hands like i just want my baby but um so far the pregnancy has been really good um the first couple weeks were rough because I was having really severe morning sickness and I was just, y'all, I was not eating nothing. Like I was having like food aversions. I couldn't smell meat cooking. Like I couldn't be in the house if they were cooking. I can't eat the foods that I used to eat. Like I've had to do a complete diet change because this baby is like specific and picky. <laughs> And so um, that's been interesting. It's been exciting to kind of explore new foods. I haven't had any weird cravings yet. Um, I've just been eating regular, like I'm not doing too much. I will say though, this baby has me with the curiosity of pineapple on pizza. We will, we will speak on that on another time because right now I just, I don't know. I feel like it'll taste good. I've never had pineapples on pizza, but I feel like right now, I don't know, it might taste good. You let me know. If you've had pineapples on pizza, let me know, okay? We'll go from there. So that is the most major life update. I am hoping to record my gender reveal and my baby shower for you guys. Um, I really 
do not mind doing that because most of you guys are not even local like a lot of you guys are so far away and i want to be able to share as much as i can with you guys and make you guys as involved as i can but obviously i want to respect the privacy of my husband my son and my family so um i'll try to do like maybe like a behind the scenes or maybe i'll vlog um if anybody's comfortable being on camera then i will absolutely let them be in the video but i want to be cautious of everybody's preferences right um so um i also wanted to let you guys know i will be celebrating my 30th birthday next week or the week after in a couple weeks um and i will be vlogging that i want to try to vlog as much as i can because i'm gonna be honest with you guys i am a very like private person but i don't know i was looking on my instagram the other day and i was just i realized like i kind of recorded almost everything from the moment i turned 28 to me about to be 29 i mean 28 to about to be i recorded almost everything from the moment i turned 29 up until i'm about to be 30 and it feels good to reflect on the stuff and i feel like my life isn't like aesthetic right like i don't have like this luxe life or anything like that but like my life is cute i love my life i'm, I'm so happy with my life and it felt good to look back on all those memories and remember things and remember when i recorded and those days and i want to have more of that and i want to document as much as i can whether you guys uh, want to see the content or not i feel like for me it's just been very healing to kind of look back and see how far god has brought me like god did his thing this year and i know next year god is going to do even better things um so that's about the most important life update um and then just me turning 30 in a little bit i do want to give you guys my testimony of you know when i found out i was pregnant and how god worked through that whole situation um but i am still praying about the timing for that right because i don't want to do anything outside of god's timing and i know he will give me the right timing and language for me to be able to give that testimony but as of right now i just wanted to share that beautiful life update i ask that you guys pray for me pray for this pregnancy pray for my family pray for my finances um just pray for god to do his will and reveal himself the way he wants to because i'm literally experiencing such a beautiful side of the lord and i am just i'm just really happy y'all like for real for real i'm very happy but with that being said sorry y'all be dehydrated with that being said i want to show you guys some stuff i picked up um i know i have shown you guys before this devotional from lisa lisa if you ever watch any of these videos i don't know how to say your last name my love i'm just gonna freestyle it so lisa turkhurst that's her name i've been doing this devotional it's such a good devotional and so my husband has surprised me with the barnes and nobles trip and i found this beautiful workbook it's called 40 days through the bible it's also by lisa turkhurst and the proverbs 31 ministry team so this workbook is intentional for you to go through your bible and read it with like questions and stuff and it's just beautiful like the aesthetic of the whole book is absolutely gorgeous um it has like themes and then it gives you like these questions to ask and all this stuff and of course once i'm doing a new workbook i always get a brand new journal so i got this journal from walmart this one cost me like seven dollars and i always love this style um so i got this one to help me with my workbook and so i'm working through that workbook and so far it's been a blessing i think i only finished like two pages because once i started the workbook um the lord led me to read the book of daniel and y'all know me and the prophets we don't we're not really cool like that but i read it i read the whole book and the lord ministered to me so i'm kind of excited i'm gonna start reading some of the prophets that i'm gonna try to finish by the end of the year i also wanted to show you guys some stuff that i grabbed from amazon as you guys know i am trying to practice more modesty and veiling and head coverings um i try to wrap my hair as much as i can especially now that i'm pregnant like i feel like i just i feel more comfortable with my head covered and like 
having my head wrapped and stuff like that my hair has grown so much y'all like my hair is so long and i want to keep it that way you know like i'm trying my best not to just chop my hair off and it's such a temptation every time i like wash my hair or straighten my hair but i realized the more that i cover my hair and i'm more intentional about it it just like the feeling goes away so i bought some new head wraps and some new little I don't know if they're called head wraps like i don't know what they're called but they're super cute and i also got a new tote bag because you guys know i'm very like minimalistic when it comes to like everyday stuff and so i've been using this little michael kors bag for a minute y'all like look my it's all tore up in the back like i just refuse to buy new bags and stuff like that just because i feel like i have one at home but I'm going to be honest with you. I've been struggling to keep using this bag because I take my Bible everywhere. And my Bible doesn't fit in here. So when I take this bag anywhere, I have to physically carry my Bible somewhere else. On top of that, I wear a lot of black. So I'm like, I need a black bag. And the little black bag I have is really tiny. Like, I think I only fit my phone in there. Um, and I don't carry much around. I'll do a what's in my bag real quick. <laughs> So what I do is, I'll show you guys, cause I don't really have much in here. I carry my ID around with my debit and credit cards, obviously. I had bought this um, perfume set on Amazon and it came with this little bag. So in this little bag, I have my body spray, my lotion, a pack of tissues, mouthwash, lip gloss, Usually I carry like um, like pain meds, like Tylenol and stuff like that. Um, and then if I have any medication that I should be taking, like it's, for example, with this pregnancy, I've been having to sometimes take um, pills for like vomiting and stuff. And so I would keep all of that in here so that way I could just transfer from bag to bag. But let me show you guys what I have bought. So these are the two little lip glosses I carry around with. Um, this is um, vanilla mint. It's a lip shine. It's like a lip gloss. And then, um, now that I think about it, my best friend actually bought both of these for me. This is a Winnie the Pooh chapstick. <laughs> so um, I carry both of these around. This is the best. Um, and then, although I carry like my body spray and stuff like that, I always carry an extra one. So this is the body spray I've been using more, more than not. And then I always carry like my pens. And my highlighters um so i can take my bible with me but like i said my bible doesn't fit in this bag so i went and got a new one let me show you guys and i'm also planning on um i'm also planning on getting the rest of the mark jacobs collection because i got the really i got the large tote bag like the really big one and i do use it but i can't carry it anymore like I don't want to carry it anymore, I should say, because um, it's huge. So I want to get the medium one. And with the medium one, I want to use for like a diaper bag. Um, and then I think the small one I want to use for personal use, but I have to see if the small one fits my Bible. If it fits my Bible, then I'll buy it. But if not, I'll just keep the medium one. So, I just got like a little Amazon tote bag. Like I'm not, it doesn't matter like i'm loyal to brands so to, to a point like if i find something that's cute i'll buy it even if it doesn't have a brand um so here's the tote bag that i purchased um this is like the little brand um let me see i think i paid 25 for this one i think so it has this back pocket here and then it's pretty big like it's a nice size bag so it has like the little handles here right it's a pretty pretty nice bag i don't know i like this one but what i also like about it is that it has the buckle for you to clip and do it like over the shoulder which is probably what i'm gonna do i wish the little straps were black too but it's okay Um, it's pretty spacious, so 
I'm gonna definitely fill up this bag right now so I can use it. And I think on Amazon they have like those little dividers, right? That you can put in your tote bag. Yeah, my Bible fits perfectly in here. My perfumes and stuff. Honestly, I can use this as a diaper bag too when the baby gets here. Um, I got my pens. I have a spot for my pens and for my markers. Everything fits perfectly. I always love a bag that has like a little outside pocket for like your keys and stuff and your wallet. Because as for me and my house, I'm gonna use that pocket. Cause I hate like digging inside of my purse when I need something, if it's accessible, you know what I mean? Yeah, look, everything fits so perfectly in here. I just gotta get my highlighters. Another good thing about it is, as you guys know, I am bilingual. So sometimes when I go to church, I take both my Bibles. So this bag actually fits both my Bibles and my journal and my iPad, like, and it's perfect. I recommend this bag, get that bag. Okay. Now, I also got these head coverings. I'm assuming this is the brand. So these are gonna be like a new type of head covering for me because these are like that bandana style. So you kind of, I don't think I could put this on with my head wrap on. But I will style it and put it on Instagram so you guys can see it. So it's kind of like that bandana style where you kind of throw it on your head and then if your hair is out like your hair is out in the back i thought these were going to be so convenient for me because what i'm trying to do is either keep my hair straight in or keep my hair curly without constantly tying it up like i'm getting tired of tying up my hair so i feel like these would help me with just leaving my hair out but still covering my head so i have a green one it comes in brown so here's the brown one it comes in black and gray. And if you guys want the links to these, I'll put them in the bio in case you guys wanna try them. Um, but I know for everything, I pay like 50 bucks for all of this. This is kinda like an off brown, this one's cute. And then it comes with like this bluish one. So these are nice, I'm gonna try to style style these it came with one two four five six it came with six of them and i'm gonna double check the price but i feel like i paid like maybe 15. maybe i'm wrong i don't know but i'm gonna try to style these you guys can follow me on instagram to see how i styled them and then let me know if this is something you want to try too or if you have these type of head coverings let me know how you style them i want to see um, because I feel like I could use all the inspo I can get. And then last but not least, I got these head coverings. Which actually, these colors are not cute. Okay, so these came four in a pack just like these. I remember this one came four in a pack and I paid... 19 for these i paid 17. so these head wraps are this it's the same one i have on um i just got them in different colors because i got this one black cream and brown but i mainly use this one and my black one so i'm like i need to get new colors so this one is they're huge too like they're good to wrap like they're pretty big so I always, when I buy these, I always fold it in half and then I wrap my hair or if I'm just like regularly veiling, I just kind of throw it on top, you know? I just throw it on top and, you know, just cover it however you veil. But these are really nice. I love these. They're so cute and they're so cool. Um, I got that one in brown, the cream. This one's very pretty. I feel like this one looks so pretty if you're just like open veiling. That one's so pretty. Got it in black. This one I can't wait to wear. Like I feel like this one is gonna be super cute. Um, oh, they gave me little bobby pins too for these. Maybe to secure it. 
But um, yeah, so I got all of all of this stuff for under 50 bucks um, on Amazon. I always try to post whenever I see a deal so you guys can get the deal too if you guys are interested in the little accessories that I buy. But I just wanted to give you guys this little update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I missed you guys so much, but I'm so excited to be able to start vlogging again and talking to you guys more. I'm just grateful for all of you. Thank you for everybody who's you know liked commented and subscribed i'm so grateful for all of you guys i love the community that we're building it just seems so happy and it's flourishing and everybody just seems so engaged and i love that um is there if there's anything you guys want to see um let me know i have a couple things planned but i'm gonna be honest i'm probably not gonna be those very organized vloggers um i'm probably gonna be sporadic with my content i did have plans before i got pregnant to do everything so organized and so aesthetic and perfect but honestly i'm just gonna bring you guys along for the ride <laughs> and i'm gonna do my best to just stay consistent not worry too much more about a schedule i just want to stay consistent and give you guys content um as always if you guys don't follow me on instagram or threads feel free to do that um on instagram i kind of focus more on modesty outfits and I'm probably going to start doing worship covers. Um, we'll see, though. I don't know. I'm a little shy with that. But we will see. And then on threads, I'm just always talking on threads about anything. Like, we talk about theology. We could talk about anything. Like, we just be talking on threads. So feel free to follow me on there. And I love you guys. God bless you so much. And I can't wait to talk to you guys soon. God bless you.